Marilyn Monroe followed a carnivorous diet. Believe it or not, just about every single calorie in her diet came from animal foods. Today, I am going to take you guys through a nutrient dense and still very approachable way that one of the most famous people to ever live thrived on. First, we are going to have a glass of milk with some eggs cracked in for breakfast. Uh, Marilyn Monroe used to also have a multivitamin, but she didn't know that multivitamins don't really do anything. She stated her breakfast was the best for a working girl in a hurry. And a glass of milk with some eggs whipped in is certainly something fast. And as you guys know, I am pretty busy myself. I got a whole bunch of production I'm doing right now in the background for Frankie's Naturals, making some moisturizing cream. I've been going for about three hours now. So this is something that's not really going to interrupt me. It takes literally a minute or two to prepare. So here I have a nice tall glass of raw milk. This is actually sheep's milk, uh, which is more concentrated in calories. You know, so although Marilyn only drank one glass of milk with two eggs, keep in mind, you know, she is a woman. Uh, she had a much lower body weight. Uh, so for a guy, you want something more calorically dense. So you can use sheep milk. You could add some cream to your milk. And here I have uh, some egg yolks as opposed to egg whites. Egg whites are a little bit inflammatory for some people. The lysosome that is contained in egg whites predominantly uh, can irritate the gut lining. You know, since we have really high quality animal products here, raw sheep dairy from a local farm, raw grain-free, soy-free egg yolks from a local farm, we are literally getting every nutrient our body needs in this first meal. And it's completely raw. It digests really well. Uh, I've had this mixed together before. Uh, I'm not gonna say it's too enjoyable. You can mix some honey in here if you wanted to. You, know, you can put a little bit of honey in here. Uh, you could add some vanilla, you could add some flavorings. But it's not too bad on its own. Uh, she used to actually uh, heat the milk up in her hotel room on like uh, one of the, the heating plates or something. And then she would whip in the eggs as soon as the milk got hot. I just let this get to room temperature and I'm gonna have everything at room temperature. It definitely digests better at room temperature and it tastes a whole lot better too. So now you could throw the milk on the stove for a minute or two, warm it up, and then whip the eggs in. <laughs> this is so good. I can't think of something that tastes better than this. That's so good for you. You know, you're not adding sugar, you're not adding honey. I thought this wasn't gonna be that great, but it's really good. You know, sometimes things can taste a little bit eggy uh, when you add the eggs to them, but really delicious. Some of you might be wondering, Frank, what the hell are you doing drinking dairy? I did figure some things out. Uh, if you can't tolerate milk, uh, you can probably try kefir. Uh, kefir would be fine. Uh, you can do any sort of fermented dairy product. You could take like a lactose, a lactate supplement to help you digest it. Uh, but we'll see. I'll, I'll let you guys know how I feel throughout the day doing this. Uh, I got a lot of work to do. And Marilyn Monroe only seemed to eat twice a day. Uh, so I'm going to see you guys around dinner time. After a long day of being on a film set, most actors, especially of Marilyn status, would go to the most famous restaurant in town. However, Marilyn opted for a steak or piece of liver from a local market that she would actually cook in an electric oven in her hotel room. I don't have an electric oven and I think putting a steak in an oven and broiling it is a sin unless you have a 900 degree furnace of a restaurant broiler, which most people don't have. So here I am outside by my grill. I have a couple of ribeye steaks. Uh, I don't have liver today. And again, Marilyn is a woman, much lower caloric expenditure than someone like myself. Some of you might be able to get away with one or two steaks, but I'm going to grill up a few and then we'll sit down and enjoy them inside.
Marilyn Monroe was not a complete carnivore. She munched on carrots occasionally throughout the day and especially with dinner. I could not actually get some carrots from a local farm. They weren't in a growing season at this time of year, uh, so I won't be having any. And I'm assuming she didn't have carrots every single day. Uh, but it is worth noting that she might have been part rabbit. From a nutrient perspective, I don't really think carrots would benefit this diet. Uh, you know, you're getting plenty of vitamin A, especially if she's eating liver. Not going to be any nutrients contained in carrots uh, that she's missing on, you know, the diet that's high in dairy, high in eggs, high in meat, especially if it's high quality. This meal in general is mainly going to be B vitamins. If it is a very fatty cut of steak, uh, then you might be getting some more fat soluble vitamins. If you opted for the liver, which I'm assuming she had once a week, once every two weeks, then you're going to get a very high amount of vitamin A, high amount of vitamin B12, and balanced amounts of all the other vitamins, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K2. Liver has everything, guys. All the minerals, all the elements, uh, even fatty acids in it. So that's something to keep in mind. Opt for the liver once a week, once every two weeks. I'm going to enjoy these steaks, and I'll see you guys for the last meal of Marilyn's day. Out of all of Marilyn's food habits, her most famous one was stopping by Will Wright's ice cream parlor for an ice cream sundae. This ice cream shop was famous for using a very high fat content dairy product to create their ice cream. Uh, what I have here today is some raw sheep milk ice cream. Uh, sheep milk has a very high fat content and it's also very nutrient dense. Very similar to the first meal. You know, we had milk and eggs for breakfast. This is milk, eggs, cream, so more fat soluble vitamins. But we added a bit of honey as well as vanilla bean. Check out my ice cream recipe video if you have not. Really amazing stuff, guys. One of the best things I've ever had in my life. And this kind of makes up for, you know, the lack of fat that she's consuming for the day. This is a very high caloric energy source of both fat and carbohydrates. And yes, there is some protein from the milk, but very energy rich, very nutrient dense. You know, if you had a lean steak for dinner and then you had, you know, the milk and the eggs for breakfast and that was mostly protein, this is where you're getting your fat. This is where you're getting some sugar. This is where you're getting most of your caloric energy. And it's understandable why Marilyn would go to the ice cream parlor because her diet didn't have a high energy content. It was a lot of protein. It wasn't really a lot of fat or carbohydrates. Overall, this is an incredibly nutrient dense diet and incredibly healthy for anyone following it from a low inflammatory standpoint as well as a high vitamin standpoint. The only problem is I wouldn't recommend doing this unless you had the highest quality dairy and egg products and most people don't. You'd probably spend 15, 20, 25 dollars a day just on the diet. You know, at, at minimum, if you're buying dairy products of this quality, you know, plus the time invested sourcing them, prep time on the meals is minimal. You know, you literally can have the milk and the eggs, that's no prep time for breakfast, and you could drink that again throughout the day if you're hungry, which is no prep time. Uh, dinner, just throw a steak on the grill, hey, maybe even chop it up and have it raw, and then have the ice cream ready, you know, from earlier in the week. Very little to no prep time involved in this diet. Very approachable foods, milk, eggs, ice cream, steak, who doesn't like it? High in nutrients, just about as good as you could get. This is why I love Marilyn Monroe's diet so much and I don't think we will ever look at another diet as healthy as this one uh, from an approachability standpoint, from an overall nutrient density standpoint because the amount of fat in the milk, in the eggs, in the dairy products and the quality of the nutrients in that dairy is very hard to eclipse with any other food, even wild caught fish, maybe a high shellfish diet uh, would do that. But I'm looking forward to trying some indigenous diets for you guys in the future, such as the Maasai, the First Nation Alaskans. We'll do some Polynesian, some Islander diets. I'm really looking forward to doing a Swiss diet. So definitely keep an eye out for that stuff over the next few months, guys. Thank you for joining me today. If you could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon, Share the video if you can. If you don't have access to raw dairy and you're looking forward to getting it in the near future, definitely support Frankie's Free Range Meat. Our priority right now is getting you guys high quality raw dairy as well as grain-free and soy-free eggs. 
Go to frankiesfreerangemeat.com and check that out. You can also check out Frankie's Naturals, minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. We have a new moisturizing cream formula, AKA ball grease. Really amazing stuff, guys. I have never used a moisturizing cream that's so amazing. Hey, maybe leave a comment down below. I'll give a couple away to you guys. If you would like to reach out to me for consultations, shoot me an email, frankatofano at gmail.com.